Uh, many of the hostages that you're waiting for, and everybody's waiting for those hostages, many of them are dead. Many of them are dead. And it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. But many of those hostages are dead. And that's why when you see these negotiations where Hamas is like not getting back, they're saying, man, we could make a good deal, but these people are no, no, no longer alive. When I saw the way they were treated, when I saw the way they were thrown into the cars and how horribly they were treated, there's no way that those hostages, and some will be alive, but many of those hostages are dead. It's a very, it's a very serious, horrible thing. It would have never happened if the election weren't rigged. It would have never happened if I were your president. They would have never done it. Because we have so many young people here today, I want to talk about, just for a moment, about success. Do you remember I used to give talks on success before politics? Okay, that's enough. We're going to do it. That's, I know you're on our side, but it's enough. We're going to get them home. It's a, rough, it's a rough situation. But remember, we used to give talks on success for the learning addicts and for others. And I used to do that before politics, and maybe it's one of the reasons I went in. But because, well... Bringing our city back, it starts with getting the right leadership. It also involves men and women just like you. But I talk a lot about success, and I get paid money to talk about success. I would have done it for nothing. But then because of politics, and if you take a look, because of politics, I stopped doing that. But I think we're in the Bronx. We have young people, people that aspire to success. And I just wanted to know... I'm so tired of politics. Can we devote six minutes to success? Okay. So, for all of you young people, I think it's, you know, look, I've been through tremendous, I've had great success, I've had it in entertainment, I've had it in business, I've had it in politics. You know, I ran for office. What office did you run for, President? How'd you do? I won. Actually, I won twice. You know, we did much better the second time, so. You know, we got millions more votes the second time. But it doesn't compare to this time. We, there is so much more, we had tremendous enthusiasm when we, you know, I don't call her crooked Hillary anymore, I call her beautiful Hillary, because I took crooked and used it for Joe. I don't like using it for two people. But we had tremendous enthusiasm in 2016, we had unbelievable more enthusiasm in 2020 because we did such a good job in fact one of the big problems in 2016 was the wall it was the border i fixed it so good that i couldn't talk about it in 2020 i kept saying to my people i want to talk about the wall i want to talk about the great job i did on immigration i stopped people from coming in they said sir nobody cares you already fixed it i said this is a terrible thing you fix it you can't talk about it but let's talk about for the young people just to listen for a couple of minutes because we've been talking about politics so long, I'm OD'd. You know what that means? I'm OD'd on politics. I'm OD'd on Trump. I turn on the television, Trump, 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 all different stories, Trump. They're driving us crazy. So I believe in the expression, did you ever hear this expression? The harder you work, the luckier you get. You know who said that? A great golfer named Gary Player, he was smaller than other golfers, but he worked harder than other golfers, and he ended up with the most career wins of any golfer. He ended up with uh, nine majors, and you know, he was small in stature, but big right up here. But he made that say, it was the first time I ever heard about it. He said, it's a funny thing happens. The harder I work, the luckier I get. That was an athlete saying that. Amazing, right? It's the first time I heard it. Probably been said by others, but it's true. I can tell you, if you didn't work really hard, there is very little chance that I would be standing here right now. Another part of success is something I learned from my father. I had a wonderful father. Wonderful parents. I'm lucky. You gotta be lucky. You gotta get great parents. If you're going to spend your life working really hard, you have to love it. You have to pick something that you really enjoy. Sometimes your parents will say, don't do that. But you got a little bit, in that case, you got to follow your own way. You got to love it. Ideally, you're going to love something where there's a potential because there are some things you love, but it's not going to do you so good. So ideally, fall in love with something that's good. Some people go into a business where it's a very hard business. If you can go into a business, that's an easier business and do well. But uh, I see it all the time. Somebody has every ingredient for success, smart, brilliant, everything's good.